Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did a couple of videos earlier today, one on both EE Arts and one on Evolutionary. Everything always goes up on Patreon, of course. And we're going to just check out the news and the things that are happening out there. So we have a July 4th warning. FBI issues an alert over attackers targeting holiday celebrations. Yeah, this wouldn't be a surprise at all. FBI Department of Homeland Security issued warning on Wednesday morning about large 4th of July celebrations. So there, they could be targeted. They could be attractive targets uh, for nefarious lone wolves is mostly what they're saying. Organizations, yeah, I, you know, it, insert who you are worried about. That'd be a good one to do, right? Who who are you most concerned with doing some sort of attack on the 4th of July? Insert your answer, please, in the comments below. Inquiry minds want to know. Indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, there's, there's so much going on, and there is a massive explosion at Rock General Dynamics Hellfire and Javelin Missile F Facility. Yeah, in Arkansas, okay, this is exactly prime target number one that you would want to take out if you were going to end up engaging in direct warfare. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Take out missile production. That's an obvious target. You know, this, we talk so much about energy. Uh, we talk about resources, etc., and obviously we've talked a lot about food production facilities, but really if you were going to be engaging in, in a third world war and you did have sleeper cells behind uh, the enemy lines, yeah, this would be a no-brainer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. So this is uh, 880,000 square foot weapons f factory. It's 86 miles south of Little Rock. And this is a leader in high-rate production of weapons, including Hydra 70, which is a two and three-quarter inch rocket, Hellfire, and Javelin missiles. Yes, and mortar as well. So this was a big explosion that took place, as you can see there. Question is, well, what caused it? Was this sabotage? Was this purposeful? Was this uh, uh, an accident of a of, 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 uh, type of nature? Uh, well, ongoing investigation, nothing definitive as of this point in time. We'll keep you guys informed, of course. And meanwhile, as you see, the wind in Jamaica and Montego Bay starting to pick up. Hurricane Barrel is, is moving closer and is it is forecast to be vastly downgraded from a category five which it peaked at right now we're looking at category four and then you're going to have category two as it approaches the yucatan as of this point in time anything could change in this world at any time going over the yucatan coming out into the gulf regaining strength as a category one or potentially a, a tropical storm where right now it looks like it could be either Mexico, Brownsville, or maybe as high up as towards Galveston. We'll have to see again in these times. Expect the unexpected. I just heard people uh, mentioning Harvey and wondering if this would be another Harvey situation. I mean, we've seen crazy things in our times. We've seen, like with Harvey, we, we saw uh, it basically kind of stop and then just all of a sudden make an abrupt turn west and then uh, stall and flood. We saw the same sort of thing happen in the Carolinas where a hurricane just stalled and was literally moving at one to two mile an hour. I had never seen that before. But since 2017, we've seen a lot of unusual things. It's been a mess. You just have to be prepared. Day two of one of the longest, most brutal heat waves in California history has begun. Notice how nearly every square mile of California is covered by heat advisories and excessive heat warnings. This is going to go on for over a week, so be aware, stay hydrated, and uh, try to stay cool. I mean, we're we're in an area where, 
Uh, June, typically July, August, and September, you're always in the 90s pretty much every day, and it will sometimes go above 100 for prolonged periods. Here, they're talking triple digits, even up to like 110 degrees in, in some spots. So again, uh, take it slow. Listen to your body. Lots of water. Just keep it going. Absolutely. And meanwhile, California governor issues state of emergency due to the Thompson fire. That's burned 3,568 acres, no containment, 28,000 people under mandatory evacuation orders. Key facilities like the Hyatt power plant are evacuated. So be, be, just be aware of that as well. Uh, there's other fires as well in northern to, to northern central uh, California. As you see, the Shelley fire uh, has started to blow up a little bit. Uh, you know, just when you have the heat, you have the fires, you have the celebration, you have fireworks. And then when you have a lot of very insane people in very, very high places out there, anything could happen. Oh, hey, look, it's Kamala. Oh, wow. What is she doing there? I don't know. But if you ever listen to her for more than five minutes, you're bound to get a laugh. That's pretty much given, yes. Or sick to your stomach. But anyway, it might be both. So the question is, Kamala, are you ready to take charge? As one of the headlines out there at a major news organization says, it's Kamala's party now. Ah, yes. Yeah, frog throat and all. So, you know, odds on favorite, uh, they were bringing up points like, well, you know, the delegates are pledged to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and a sitting VP. It's hard to nudge a sitting VP out of the way and put somebody else at, at the head of the ticket. I don't know. Maybe it'll be Big Mike. I mean, uh, Michelle and Kamala. Maybe it'll be girl power. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, please insert comments below. We'll be watching. Yeah, we'll be watching. And, of course, you know, we're talking about California. Newsom is always the name that comes up there as well. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. You know, it's, it's well, we were just saying, you know, do you think this is more like as the world turns general hospital guiding light? Wh which which one of those shows are we watching here uh, play out geopolitically? Well, you got to you got to separate yourself from it. That's the wise thing to do, I think. Yes, and we do know some people that are avid, avid soap watchers. And other people are watching for the aliens. Hey, there goes one. That's a cute one. <laughs> that was cute. And uh, as this person says, that would make my day. That is, um, you know, hey, I got to tip my hat. Not that I'm wearing a hat, but I love it. I love the idea. I think that is having fun with life. That's a goof, and uh, that's pretty darn cool. It's adorable. Now, they should be wearing a mask, maybe a Biden mask. Yeah, I think that would be appropriate, yeah. All right, who can name, not the deer, but the, the gentleman feeding the deer? I wonder if anybody's going to get who is feeding those deer. He seems very, very gentle, very nice. Uh, yeah, he's well-spoken, and I'm curious to see if anybody can name that guy. Yes, name that guy. But thank you guys, as always, for being part of this family. Much love. Source bless. Stay safe and hydrated. Namaste. Namaste.